Okay, welcome to Tactical Tuesday. We've got a great game tonight. Uh, it's Rip versus Squad Beans and Hasaria on Kokan Pass. I'm joined today once again by OMBD's Gek. Hey guys, uh, just to sort of uh, stop in here, there's also a little uh, mix squad here of SVG and uh, with uh, Zulu X ray Delta's Moham as well in there. So there's a. Uh, so there There's is not, a few yeah. guys then from outside of the initial. Yeah, they've called in reinforcements, I think, because I mean, filling a forty-man squad is or a forty-man team is not easy. He's in the SRE no. right before we get to the front. No so just so for people that aren't aware, ma flags in play tonight are Stonebend, One followed by eight, Market eight, and eight, District eight, Center. Eight, 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 then Village and Grandel, and finally Nova Isle. I'm sticking with the Russian team all night, and Gek is going to be with the US team. Well, you logic first. Let BTR go ahead of you. Absolutely. We are live from the start, so five seconds or so to go. We are once again running a delay on the stream. Honestly, it is good news. Don't wanna, don't wanna leave anything up to on, <laughs> chance go. there. I mean, the stream delay is crucial. Yeah, no, it's one of those that we don't like to think of it, but it does happen. Uh, absolutely. Did it happen while playing? Obviously, that was a uh, public game, and someone was streaming with no delay, and they were just telling us where our fobs were. Yeah, I've seen it before too. So none of that. Right now, match has started, and U.S. side is moving out. Yeah, the Russians are rolling. Got a small two-man, three, no, yeah, two-man squad of Rip in a transport truck, of all things. It's going towards District, BTR going towards uh, Market with a Logi truck. Yeah, we've got a lot of, like, tiny, well, not a lot of tiny little groups, but they grabbed every single Humvee, and they're rolling out in nearly every direction. It looks like yeah, uh, some Humvees are flanking here as well. Yeah, I Mark see that from before, uh, hovering above, from, yeah. above uh, District Center. Yeah, it's not too far yeah. away. Uh, it does look like we have got this uh, traditional, we dropped a rally and got a full squad in on District Center. But yeah, they but are that's... going to come into contact with. Is that a Humvee coming up? That is a Humvee. There's also a uh, yeah, troop transport side, truck coming in on the, the south way. side right now. They're going to be in contact very, yeah, very copy. soon. Aspen, troop transport is disembarking right now. So yeah, we've got two full squads. So we've got the SVG guys with their Zulu X-ray Delta and a squad of Hasaria coming to District. And it, and another Were squad of Asaria on the Spawning western, eastern, sorry, eastern flank. Cop. And uh, R.I.P. R has an insane rush here on Village as well. And there is a huge amount of contact right now. There's multiple yeah. attacks happening right now. Yeah, yeah they're... They're... Three, four guys from Hasaria have Why, already gone Chris down at District Just Center with, you, with okay. only two losses, three losses for Rusty in places. Yeah, but there is Can definitely, there are definitely there more US troops guys here, yeah. There is no Wait, doubt how this is going to go. I mean, Russians yeah, might capture before US managed to right, shit, hold this flag, but... They will hold this flag. Does look like point. the majority of people no, at the village for the no. US team. In Very fact, way, all yeah. par, oh, bar. Right. Squad Beans Calber is down. Absolutely. So uh, they are. And they have just called out. Village. Yeah, they've just called out that they are again. not capturing district. But I'm yeah, there the is just yeah. SB Calvers yeah, left alive. One guy. 
Yeah, they are now like scrambling on this side, and the command chat is going off. They're scrambling to now mount uh, another assault on village here. Yeah, it's crucial that they capture both of their second flags. Spencer, Bob, next, yeah. please, Jay, uh, Bob. Village is a tricky One cap as well. Can't sneak up on village. Very difficult. Are down, holding for your... oh, there is a hell of a lot of US troops, as you say, on district center. Yeah, and they appear to have stopped the cap completely. Yeah. There, it does look like, and you can confirm, that Hussaria have placed a fob in that compound in the east. District, just beware when you approach. Uh, yeah, no, not yet. Say. No fob there yet. There's possible. just a little rally point. The FOB yeah, no is actually a little bit south. It is in Golf uh, 5, keypad 7. Get sort of uh, Get in the little yeah. wooded area between the river and the fields. Yeah, right now we have a FOB at Village. We have one at Market. And we have one just to the north of Grandel. Uh, uh, oh. District Center, sorry. Yeah, yeah. District Center, right, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, you are absolutely, like, uh, Russian, Russian side, I, I would say they're favored move, move, just in the fact right. that they have three FOBs right now, because there is one FOB supplying the entirety of the Ru the U.S. side, which honestly is not going to cut it. Watch it, come in, watch it. I'm moving up north of you. Yeah, so there is a crow's hub be circling around districts as well. Then. SVG and uh, the Moham. The, the crow, enemy crow is moving down south. Yeah, there is a counterattack now happening Guys, at village, the but the there village. are so many. Like, there's at least two squads. I'd say three Russian squads on village right now. Enemy yes, you would be right, there is. Uh, the squads that are there are our two, three, and four. So only our two and four are full size squads. Squad three is a mm, six man squad. Yeah. The but yeah, there force... is a lot of people there. Yeah, the assault force probably numbers in ten. I'd say something like that. On and village, we've got around twenty people. Yeah, so that's not going to be captured. The way things are going right now. But you... at the same time, district probably has around the same amount of people. Absolutely. So basically, what we're saying is there will be no ticket bleed for now. No, it's all on lost. And that crow zombie did just take an RPG. That is now going to bug out. Yeah. It's smart, it is 20 tickets on four wheels right and there. And the second RPG falls short. I'm moving north to place oh, a repair goodness. station. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, 20 Could tickets be... minus the crew. Well, yeah. And they have just left it to the south of the flag. They have not taken it back to repair yet. Well, I think they are going okay, to build repair stations there because it is down. within the FOB radius. Yeah, so there we go. First repair station is up, or at least uh, down, Copy I guess. Down it's not built yet, but... Copy that. Hold them. Interesting. Hold them out any issues. It is a smart move, I would say, because yeah. it saves you a it's lot a of long downtime drive. in your vehicles, Okay. But I'm surprised I they don't sort of... I'm surprised they're choosing there. to do it this way, both both Which Rusty one? in places and, uh, well, the U.S. side oh, of Hasari, SVG, and Squad yeah. Beans, that they're yeah, actually, yeah. like, consigning, saying, okay, we're going to have three squads defending... Uh, this rush and RIP says, "Well, okay, we're gonna do the same Squad thing," and no one's sort of switching it up. Yeah, right. It is a little strange, but if it works, and all it takes is one one side to fall first. Absolutely. 
Right, Whoever no, fought, whichever rush fails first on either district two. or village, they're going to end up losing Keep my two flags in fairly quick succession. Absolutely. And on village as well, they just made the FOB they have down there spawnable as well, so they could be getting a lot more support soon. Yeah, all three of the uh, Russian fobs are now spawnable. So as I said, we've got one in Foxtrot 3-5, one in Delta 3-2, and then one in Delta 6-3. Right. Yeah. There is a... F <laughs> US site has marked a fob uh, in uh, Echo 6 keypad 5, which apparently is completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, there is no fob, uh, no rally point, nothing anywhere near that. Yeah, but it's just RIP probably advancing and them thinking, wow, there's a lot of Russians here. Must be something happening. And right now, this uh, attack on village here, it's under a lot of pressure because, uh, yeah, they're getting hit pretty close to their FOB right now. Yeah, right. I'm assuming their FOB is where uh, Illuminati Yeah, it's under the bridge there. You got the village secure. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, there. The Under the bridge Humvee now. coming in northeast side of a uh, village. Just called oh. out that they've got a Humvee coming in northeast side of village. So yeah, here come Asaria to try and back them up. Yeah, it's gonna be on that little island there, and just look. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna that. look across the field. Yeah. Whoever's got Sender and his crew. Uh, but it has a BTR firing at it, and there it goes. So we've had. Just over 10 minutes of play, uh, Russia forces have already lost 40 tickets. Can I pull my guys out? Just yeah, but, uh, well, that's, that's honestly, copy it's, uh, it. about 48 it. tickets for the U.S. side. So, I mean, it's not that bad. They're pretty even right now. If this continues, it's a toss-up, really, who wins. Uh, so that, that is their Humvee going down, and... So the yeah, attack I'm... on village isn't even getting close right now. No, 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 no. Not at all. And I mean, they were leading until that Humvee went down. Because the 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 Humvee ticket, or basically, they're at 448 right now. And that Humvee was they're 20 tickets. Pub, mate. Yeah, we're so... at 457. So there's nine tickets. Yeah. But I mean, this is... Strange so far. It's going to be interesting like, just to see how it develops, to be honest. It's like, uh, there is now the squad that captured Market Say that again. Maybe moving edge. towards District Center as well. Crow is back on District Center. Right, Roger. Oh, yeah. So now there's Yo, going to be to sort of increased. The there's going to be a slight Roger. increase in numbers there, yes. And. They have also, well, they did also yeah, have two people yeah, yeah. push out to the west looking at, looking at it with, uh, at the east with um, RW Sunder and Naja possibly thinking that there is a fob in, yeah, 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 on that uh, sort of building and I mean, they probably, Felt like that was confirmed since there were people there, which is a smart move. Then, yeah, there are, they have some also guys there. marked a fob there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's total distraction right there. They have no idea where the fob yeah, actually is. is. So that's Ooh, act super but clever. The fob at village has been located. If you can, if you really want to go crazy. Oh yeah, they 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 marked the fob uh, or the attacking uh, U.S. fob on village under yeah. the bridge there. Yes, and yeah. just confirmed on squad lead comms that it is accurate. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a guy there. It's Frog. It's Frog He's going to get Frog's killed here. It looks like it does there. sound like they know it's roughly not. where the uh, Russia fob is. They are taking the Russia fob down with proximity. If you want, they can drop the one in Foxtrot 3-5. If you want to push over them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one north of district. Okay. okay. That is actually going down right now. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see on the map there's loads of guys on it. Well, that's actually really, really good. That's gonna ease the defense on district. 
Yeah, because our closest two spawns now are either main or over in Delta oh, 3. Uh, baby but yes. they are very possibly, to they are talking about placing a fob behind them. But that's still a 20 ticket loss and in such an even match, one yeah, cannot help it, to think it, that's going to make a difference. Well, it's took us down, we are now at 420 tickets. Yeah, 443 tickets right now, so a solid 20 ticket lead from a 9 ticket deficit. That's not bad. FOB is directly on Frog's body. So if the Which Russian, well, the this sort of means that if the Russian side sort of continues with the status quo, uh, they are not the ones benefiting from it. No, but... Mark, am I still pushing district center? We do have a another squad for, uh, pulling off of market right now. Thank you. Uh, off of village. And heading up uh, towards district, Mark so we are going to have the only two squads then defending that uh, push, and the rest of the team. Can, Honestly, up towards district. Well, yeah, that's really me, risky get, because I, I'd, I'd make sure that fob was down before I sent guys away. They have got two guys going over towards that fob right eight, now. So I don't know if it's a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them, and they're small groups, but I mean it's, it's and sort of one goes down. Like yeah, it's like a small group of people moving over the fields towards two guys entrenched and expecting them. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, and rarely going to work. It is very... That's the one thing about this map. It is all very open. Absolutely. Uh, my Revenge Revan, he is... If he pushes over the road, he may... See Dominator. Dominator keeps turning hey, around and not looking the right way. Oh. I know what he's but looking at down there. The BTR yeah, is coming that. into support. Yeah. Uh, well, that could actually, and it's yeah, it's taking the long way around. Very, very safe. Very smart play right there. Yeah, it's keeping them at range. Yeah. Not only that, but he's gonna sit. Basically, he's gonna try and sit somewhere along this road here. And just stay safe and shoot at them and from afar. We, and we we both know the yeah, US law has a insane amount of drop, so... Yeah, not only that, but I mean, sneaking up on this BTR is going to be the problem right here. The gunner has not seen my, my Revenge Revan. Please, yeah. let's hope he's not an AT. So but uh, my revenge has reported that BTR to Copy. the rest of his uh, team, and it's now all over right now. Uh, the uh, squad yeah, leader chat here. So yeah, everyone there knows about that BTR. Well, he, well, he, he, he is not 18, so he's a yeah, yeah, he also now wasted like uh, three quarters of his clip on that destroyed truck in the middle of the field here. Not ideal. Squad Beans Macfish. Uh, does look like he has a specialist role from a distance. I can actually he check. He is AT. And one, one hit on the BTR. And I got down right over his shoulder to see that actually be fired. <laughs> Alright, BTR now pull him back. And I don't think he wants to stay there anymore. Which is a smart call. That's 30 tickets that they're getting away. Oh, absolutely. One shot on them. Absolutely. But I'm amazed that this sort of the, the FOB is still holding after all this time. And uh, I would say the attack is improving very slightly, but still improving. Yes, it does seem to look that way. And the defense on district is still holding well. It looks very healthy. Uh, that crow's home will be circling round. Is... Shots. Off. Yeah, we'll do it. Keep it updated. Uh, uh, it's demolished everyone on that island there. Yeah. Five to main, I thought can I deploy a new FOB? Foxtrot three and nine. They are you asking know, for a new FOB placed around Foxtrot three nine as well. 
Yeah, yeah that's maybe. gonna be risky point. since there are American right, troops man, on Foxtrot 39 right now. Right, request BTR support uh, my unit pushing on that fob again. Yeah, squad, that squad four, uh, which is one of our squads at village, uh, ask, has just asked for BTR first. support. They are push pushing on. They are going to be using a full the squad to push on that fob. Can we? Yep, that is probably a smart move. And like, like I said earlier, like I would not, I would not take shot. squads away from the defense until I knew that FOB was gone. Uh, and I mean, yeah, ignore. Just look that BTR, help. okay, now looks to be fully repaired. It's driven yeah. back, fully repaired. Squad so squad did just ask for yeah, they're coming from that their squad, squad lead, that who does to seem to be forward. leading the game, which would be yeah, uh, Rip's Mark. He seems to be playing sort of a commander role. Which is actually very, very clever. It's... It is something I have seen Rip do like, quite a lot. They up, tend to have one person running their entire other squad well, uh, So squad four requested that they have the BTR take them and drop them off near the fob. He, Mark, told them no. Uh, use the BTR to suppress from there. Yeah, that is uh, very, very clever. And uh, if you'll have a look at this attacking fob near village right now, it it, it is actually very very close to going down now. They sort of have the area around it kind of clear, and they're moving in in force. Well, let's hope they don't move too many people off village though, because if they do lose village, they will. Rapidly lose Can't district go. center as well. Yeah. So we normally, we normally see tactical Tuesday games for around 45 minutes to an hour. So we're yep. probably just shy of confirm, confirm, confirm. the minimum halfway mark. And we're already down 104 tickets. We're at 396. Well, then there is now a 30 ticket lead. Uh, because we are at 426 but right here. Rip's Reaper is camping that fob. And yeah, and Alpen he's asking us coming in. Mate, yeah. And the BTR, yeah, so that fob is going uh, down. Guaranteed, this attack is just done. Take it easy. Uh, and, so, Aspen is a squad lead. He is correct. So he doesn't have the shovel. No, he's laying there looking at it, but he doesn't have a shovel. <laughs> well, what about Reaper? Is he a squad? No. Why, why doesn't he dig? This makes no sense. Well, I'm well. confused. Yes. Much confused. And right now, they just... <laughs> Bowl just Where's threw a smoke there? grenade on that FOB. Two smoke grenades. Oh, unsure as to why. It was... it's on that island. You'd assume it'll only make spawning on it easier, but... Yeah, I'd assume okay, so. That's now going to hinder their covering of that FOB. We that well, the FOB is currently yeah, unspawnable, yeah, so I guess they just down. sort of took that chance. Got enemies pushing into Echo 3. Right, guys, guys, listen. Bull Rob is Bob. now coming up and digging. Yeah. So he may... Or attempting to. He, he had the weird bug where sometimes when you're laying prone, you cannot dig the fob. Yeah, he I constantly have that. Now. I always say, yeah, nice digging is the hardest part about this game. Yeah. Start digging and look, digging a fob, I always South find, uh, get the shovel out, go prone and look Copy. vertical. It seems to work. <laughs> and that fob the has fob gone. Is gone. 395 tickets now. So that's took it down to just yeah, confirmed. 8 ticket lead now for the US yeah. forces. This yeah, is a are. very uh, close game. Absolutely. Very, very close and, yeah, you know, round, can I say, slightly uneventful. Uh, it, there it, isn't it, all that much uh, happening. Sorry, no, I'm flying oh, backwards and forwards between village and yeah, district off, just man. to see if anything's <laughs> progressing, but... It's pretty much the same. Right now, it's just it's stalemate. Yeah, it looks yeah, as though they might consider down, making an finish. FOB on the sort of central island, Echo, Echo 5-ish. 
because there's a lot of guys sort of moving around that area. There's a common fob location, which is probably the only reason why you should hesitate to drop a fob there. Yeah, it would. We the Russian forces would not be able to because of the distance from their fob, but the uh, BTR is near that island as well. Yeah, actually, uh, now that you mentioned the fob distance, they are unable to drop an FOB there as well. Simply because of the distance. It would be too close to the uh, district center fob. Yeah, the uh, BTR with uh, Buckley's and Demon Hon is just to the north of that island. Yeah, it is now getting sort of rear-ended here by a Humvee that's in the field. And Humvee's now taking fire, trying to back away. It is not going to work. Now the Humvee's Humvee down, down, that's the crow's down. Oh, that is a shame. So that Crows has been one of the main reasons they have been holding off the attack there at uh, District. Uh, so it's Fra hey, Frankie and the Moham. Uh, who hang, was on, the hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at that! Look at that BTR again. BTR is now on fire. It is. It is and destroyed. BTR yes, is destroyed. The crew's down. So yes, the BTR is down. That was an. Beautiful ambush on that BTR coming from that central island. Yeah, it does look like there is another Humvee there. Or is it just a 50? Uh, that is a Humvee. Yes, yeah, so there was a secondary Humvee there yeah. also assisting the attack. They're going to do an there and Cal. They're calling out a Lodgy moving on the west road. Um, and no, saying they are probably going to do an eastern, uh, an instant fob on that Roger. western flank. Um, not a terrible idea. Uh, as in the U.S. forces it is what they're calling okay. it out. We so, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're saying they're going to drop an Roger, FOB on uh, what they're, is that? That's Tempest Estate usually. They think they're going to. They don't know where it's the the US Check are going to drop it, but they go. They feel they're going to be putting one down yeah. on that western. I'd say yeah. it was pro possibly going to be around the compound in Charlie Seven, where Hasaria are right now. Oh, over there. Yeah, that's not. That's been I mean, it's a terrible weapon. angle to attack from, if you ask me. Just personally, my experience with it is that it n hardly ever works. Yeah, you've got a open road and open fields with next to no tree cover. Yeah. You could occasionally, like if you walk close to the field on the south side of the road there, sometimes you might be able to get close, but it's it's not a great angle right there. See them walk it up now on the north side here, but right into Winsky. if they Winsky. keep walking the down that side, they are going to run into a fob. Really? That's excellent news for them. There's a fob right here? Yep, right where you are. Oh, I can hear it. It's in the field here. Yeah, if they keep going, and they have not been spotted, this is actually... Oh, Whitsky and Riego are coming back though, so they may have been spotted. Yep, they haven't. Lone Ranger squad. down. Enemy squad coming into the west side of village. They've just called out an enemy fob. Uh, Winsky goes down. There, There's no fob there. marked on the map right here for the U.S. side. They are unaware have, of it. We have no fob yeah, marked on, on the, fob. Need you on the, back. the uh, Russian side, but they did just call out that they oh, had found one. I can't hear it. Really? Well. Where could that be? Let me just find a. Uh, uh, squad one are calling it out apparently, yeah, which are around Golf Seven. Yeah, oh, there is a fob there, yeah, but how? Oh yeah, there we is a small group yes. right now moving. Yeah, they've just placed a yeah, fob down themselves over there. They've placed a fob in Golf Seven Six. Yeah, and they found this fob in the compound it, defending yeah, Grand L right here. And they have just called out they are taking that down yeah, as well. Is. Yeah, absolutely. US side has no idea. But the US forces are still stopping the cap at Confirm District Center. Confirmed contact on the village from west side. Mm. 
uh, I've just gone super high just to have a Ask look, me. and all really I can see there can right now are place. enemy contacts. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's full of blue Did right now, on out? my side at least. Uh, the attack that got close to that FOB got west. stopped yeah, before I think east. they were I'm inside the audio range. They are now, however, attacking from the north side of there as well. Watch it, watch it. And they... We're still a man down. Yeah, they, they shouldn't have been I able to hear the FOB people. from where they were. Uh, and, but they it's still there. They have BT uh, Humvee support from that north as well. Uh, one enemy fucked. Oh yeah, but it is, uh, well, traditional Humvee, not Crow Humvee. Which means the, uh, the yes, sort of usefulness to to at range here. is, well, really reduced. I mean, a crow could be a sniper if you wanted to. And I'm really surprised to see uh, the Russians are actually pushing out on the west side here. Sort of uh, where that attack was coming from. Yeah, got so they're close to checking FOB. for a FOB from what exactly. I can tell. Squad beans are pushing down that field again. Mag Mag, yeah. Keep trying your best up there, baby. Uh, Husky, Chiamp, and Mag Fish. Point pushing, we're just getting nailed. Enemies, don't yeah, just and they're getting pretty close, and there's a lot of smoke in that field right now. It's going to be tricky to fight in that sort of area. Bob, do you just want to do a run, mate? You're going to have but to they have been that. spotted. Yeah, and there is a very, very high chance that fob will be discovered, me. though. As soon as it's marked on map, they're gonna get a lot more pressure on that point. And the, do they have a rally point down over there as well? Oh, they, there's a rally point, yes. Yeah, Squad 3 has a rally point uh, sort of north of where they're attacking from right now. And I guess they have to know there's a fob yeah, here because of that repair station. Yeah, they've put their rally point right behind the repair station. Yeah. Probably like, is this is this thing usually here? <laughs> they have called that the Humvee should be down. Yeah, uh, they're so saying they're asking now for permission to build a fob on Delta Five. Delta you have... Five? Yes, Delta Five, which should be just <laughs> in in uh, was what's usually Tempest Estate, yeah, north of the village there. Yeah, really common on this map. That's very risky. Yeah, and there are already the are uh, Russians there, the Bowl the and Buckles, looking yeah, for right. what yeah, I suspect uh, Russians think is a fob, but it's not there yet. Yeah, yeah and we've got um, Ego Stein and Gal on the western side looking for a fob. Only Mark, are we going to plan on setting a new fob alive. on district or a whole fob? Yeah, we're getting no. surrounded here, village. Squad 4 yeah, just called out, they are getting surrounded hey, James, at village. Push here, like you've got yep. Copy that, yeah. And... So, it, right now it is... Well, as long as you can, if we can get the BCR still back stale, up, mate, there is straight away. no ticket bleed yet. They're just calling out in team chat that to bowl that there is someone southwest of him. Yeah, let me know if you're going to place a fob. North yeah, and they are really getting close to that FOB right now. They should be able to hear it very, very soon. Mag Mag and Chiamp and McFish, you were talking about earlier uh, down on the village side. But... Looking at this, there is next to no one anymore on. Oh, the there's a lot of enemies south of the district at the moment. Really? Oh, do you mean the attack or the defense? Uh, the Trans U.S. Hold. Towards the field. Yeah, fact, they're very. There's only one person actually in the cap range. Is. Just with their Humvee, which is the repair station. Yeah, Roger. Five for them. Enemy lodging heading to E5. Enemy well, there to... are... Well, there are currently Squad two, one. and I mean, there are uh, loads and loads of US guys actually here. I'd say roughly... Got a full squad? Uh, got it, got it. 
So, oh. Bowl has yeah, just called out that they are ca crawling through the field in one, Delta one. 6 or 5. Yeah. And the FOB on yeah, Village is now tank. marked and reported. Yeah, they know exactly where it is. So, we've had just over what would be standard. I'm quite throwing in the a halfway mark. mark. Uh, we're at 327 Take tickets. Away. 313 tickets here, uh, so this is still super even. Apparently they're crawling oh. through the field. Which field? One what team or say? the other really needs to just say, right, we are giving up on holding the cap <laughs> and take their second flag. That is a huge risk, though, because if you actually don't manage to take the flag, but you give them their own flag, that's... Tuna's yes, goes down, but it is target. one of those that right now, in my opinion, Placing it needs to be done, because neither push on to taking these flags is going well. Yeah, and and the thing is, like, sort of, you want to you want to secure your win. Got, you, you don't want it to be sort you, of you a coin to... toss the way it is now. Yeah, they yeah. have absolutely no idea if they are in the lead or not. And if they think they do, they're probably wrong. So it's <laughs> yeah, it's a really really tricky situation yeah, where you're just hoping you win, and that's not the way this game is played. Generally, now you need to. You want to be sure. You want to know you're gonna win. Absolutely. This is uh. Kills are all well and good because yes, every kill is a ticket, but flags are what wins the game. Every kill is not a ticket. Well, yes, it is, I guess yeah, because they 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 will always like you won't kill won't count until they give up. So I guess yes. Yeah, but so you it's can't... only one ticket, but you Still can't be guaranteed some, that uh, somebody knowledge. that you shoot has given up. Yeah, and not only that, but uh, you don't you don't get to see how many people you kill. Yeah, killed, sorry, you know? I'm waiting to. That's sort of uh, not doors, until the end of the doors, game. Doors. That's when that sort of uh, information gets made official. Uh, really it... strange here. Uh, we have a whole bunch of Russians uh, on the east side here in the compound uh, east of. Uh, did you find where they probably suspect there was a fob. Or they may be placing a fob. They might be. Let me have a listen. There is a squad lead. They, they haven't placed yeah, one just now, yet. This can serve. We can get district happy days in the camp. We have to uh, bleed them. So, what, what Mark's just called, called out over covered. squad comms, yeah, if we can get district happy days, if we can't, we're just going to hold and bleed them. That is super risky, but... And it's also one of the ways of dragging out a game. <laughs> Absolutely. But we'll, we'll just have to see. Right now, uh, US side has dropped a fob on Tempest Estate, and that fob is probably going to go already down marked. already. Yeah, already marked and probably going to go down, which is uh, yeah, I'm out the just tells you how much success you're going to have dropping a fob on this point, uh, sort of in this kind of game. Even when that flag's in play, Tempest to stay in pub games, it tends to be a bad call. Yeah. People do it because there's a lot of compounds and things that you can build defences on, but when it's a flag not in play, it becomes even more risky because you're not going to want to build any defenses to give it away exactly but i mean if it is for the initial rush and for the entire team to spawn on sort of like uh, if, uh the first iteration of this map uh, yeah you had insurgents versus us and insurgents would rush down here drop a fob have the entire team basically spawn on this flag and then just go from there sort of that Use that lodges, build roadblocks, build 50 cows. Yeah, exactly. And that absolutely can work. What kind of tickets are you looking at right now? I'm at 316. 296, and the fob's still to go. So that's going to be 276, yeah. Uh, and you're at 313? 315. 
315, so that's like a... 30 ticket lead? 40 ticket lead? Yeah. It does look like there are contacts around Foxtrot 7 for my squad 1. It's Humphrey down. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a huge group. Uh, well, actually, one squad. Squad three oh, is there right now. Yeah, the squad, uh, the squad being squads. Yep, that is Mag Mag leading that squad. I'm sending the BTR to district. BTR is going to district. Enemies confirmed in this compound, taking two down. If you can start pushing it, we copy your guys. Mark fob in this area. telling people to copy push into that, that compound that uh, in Foxtrot 7. Uh, and saying that there could I'm be a fob there. there. Yeah, uh, they are... Make Apparently sure no fob in there, but I'm needs. sure they're Staying thinking about it. Days. Just like we have currently no yeah, fob, we're on the eastern here. side of District. Yeah. Right now our oh, closest need, spawns uh, for got District, got we've got a rally point on that flag. We've got a Copy. fob in Market and okay. then Main, but they are bringing a, lo a logi truck chance. from Main Syria, right now. Syria, yeah, but the fob on Village is still up and running, right? Be yes, the fob on Village is still active. I'm moving my squad yeah. down south, um, having eyes on the south side. Yeah, there is a flank now happening. It is uh, squad four who are south east, southwest of village right now. So there might be something happening. But I think they've been spotted as well. It does because they've like passed some Russian. What is our squad five, uh, led by yeah, Yal? Is going to start pushing across the right river now. towards district. Enemy home Hall of Fear, uh, leading Fox the push. Area. Last no mark. Yeah, that is a very, very tricky angle, just simply because you have to cross that river. And, and there's the a lot of US. And it misses twice. They've just fired two laws at that BTR and missed. Oh my goodness. I believe it might only be a rally now, guys, so I can't hear it. Mark calling out that they fun. believe We're on the way to it could on. only be a rally because they can't hear anything in that compound. The one in Foxtrot 7. Yeah, that is correct. Whole unit moving up towards uh, Charlie 7. But yes, there, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, there is I... a lot of US forces looking at the river. Yeah, yeah, they can't cross that river. That's just no go. But they, I can see why they want to. They want they're wanting to change the angle because they keep coming in from the north. They really could do with getting a fob down somewhere. Yeah. To the south, possibly around Foxtrot Five, so it pushes in from the south as well. I know that you said you'd got a fob somewhere in. Fo uh, was it Golf Six? Or golf five? Yeah, it's golf uh, five, keep at seven. Uh, there's a fob right there. Actually, what they need to do, the best way or the only way to really take out an established defense is take care of their spawn points and then attack. Yes. As soon as you do that, it's going to go down, right? That's why both the fob on village there was so important as well as this fob on district. But they're nowhere close to even knowing where this fob on district is. At this point, they probably think it's on district somewhere. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm assuming they've got a rally point on district. Uh, yeah, they have several rally points. I mean, there's multiple uh, squads one, one, there. One, there's three, at uh, least five, one rally point on district down. right now, but most of them are actually spawning from that fob. Um, um, find it like the only reason why the Russians probably haven't found that fob yet is because they've sort of been attacking from the north side. Where the fob is on the south side, so you can't really feel where the reinforcements are coming from, other than that, that the defense is holding, sort of. Yeah, there was one attempt to come from the southwest, roughly from like the Foxtrot 5 Key 7 area, but that failed yeah. and they've not attempted it again.
Yeah, exactly. And right now there are sort of U.S. troops over there. Just so keeping an eye on it. can you just confirm for me, is there any U.S. troops around Gulf 7, uh, 6? Gulf 7 key... Right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loads of U.S. troops there. Absolutely. Because we've got Russian forces over that. Uh, um, n around our fob. Well, no, there's, they are not a sort of, uh, Gulf 7 key, they're not exactly there. I mean, U.S. troops know that the enemy are there, they've marked them, but most U.S. troops are obviously, uh, in the compound, uh, directly west of that. So the where, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and right now, U.S. Yeah, is saying, hey, there's a fob the on village, uh, because it's fortified. But the Russians have still not moved their original fob that was found no. by squad beans earlier. And, and there's the just seems to be some slight miscommunication here, where one squad thinks they've just now sort of located the fob, uh, whereas it's already been both Tell found and marked. Yeah, they know. 45 minutes of play. What's your tickets looking like, Gek? 248 right now. So there is still a 42 ticket lead for the Russian forces. Humvee, yeah, but I mean, Humvee, we've, what, we've been playing now for nearly an hour, and it's varied plus minus 40 tickets for both sides. I would not be surprised to see that change again. And that's sort of... I would say that's the huge negative with playing like like this because you cannot be sure. There's there's just small things like fobs going down. It's gonna down. change uh, no, I, sort of the the way going. this battle goes, and you don't really want. Well they have just reported a Humvee going down though. Still... Yeah, so we're at 228. Right so yeah, we, uh, no, mate, we're at 287. Yeah, so now there's a 60 ticket lead. Mate, yeah. Okay. But that's so it could be it could it be that could RIP still go either way. Yeah, RIP are in the slightly sort of but it's sixty tickets, it's one flag, and then it's suddenly it's completely even bleed. again. Yeah, and well, obviously if one as, flag goes Well, you know. right now obviously if they take the flag it's not going to lose them tickets, but if say for example the Russian forces manage to take district, that, that means they manage to take so village instantly. Up. Absolutely, and uh, not only that, but it's and we do uh, have just, squads yeah. around Grandel as well. So Grand, yeah. so village would go if district falls, village cut falls. Golf yeah, five, keep at seven. It's Fob confirm. Golf five, keep at seven. Fob confirmed. Okay, so now I have some extreme doubts as well. I mean, if that fob goes down. This team is spawning in main. So if that fob goes down, it is going to be a case of district strong. falls, followed yeah, by village, strong. followed by else. right now Grandel. Yeah, exactly. And Let's it's not else. gonna be pretty. Uh, the, uh, and I'm surprised they don't have more. The I mean, be, I've uh, they've tried. I, I know they've no tried more, to uh, make more fobs, but fob, so. you can't stop trying just because you fail. That's sort of uh, the well, lesson here. Well, you sort of rifle. need to keep going. And, and I mean, Hold right on. now they're meeting contact wherever they go. But I, they have they have squads literally yeah. everywhere right now. Yes, right now it's the it's U.S. forces come, come are yourself. leading on kills. But they are not leading on ticket. Yeah, I know. But we've lost... Three fops? Two, fob, uh, two or three fobs. Let me think. One, two, two, three fobs. Yep. So three, three fobs, fobs, three Humvees. And, yeah, and at least two of them okay, were crows. Well, three blood out people where you need and us you've lost one BTR and a fob? Or yes, two? a fob. Mm. Which should account for the discrepancy right now. So squad six, our squad six squad led six by Baby squad, James. Squad it's only a five-man squad. Copy that. Uh, over in Golf 6, are looking like they're going to start pushing towards that fob in uh, Golf 5. On the yeah, I'm east looking east at east them east right east. now, coming in from the south side here. They've already been spotted, though. 
the guys are looking that way. But now there's a there's a BTR coming in as well. Looks like a BTR is going to flank the whole position and just shoot at him from across the river. Bold, bold, just telling everyone in area up. team chat to save those tickets. You want me to clear that area around the last mark? Fox yeah, MA. very clever play here. 213 for US side. Yeah, 277 for Russia. Let's just clear it. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, so this discrepancy is only going to get bigger. Yeah, right it's, now it's still at 60, 60 65. Mm. Yeah, so it, just so saying 60 I'm tickets. We've just lost it. another two, so. James, how you doing? Yeah. And I mean, uh, there are a lot of things, I guess, happening on the U.S. side, but it's just small uh, movements James, with small groups of people just sort of prodding village, up. trying to find a weakness. Well, but they yeah, have, on village, they have huge roaming Copy. sort of squads of people. Just Yeah, it's, we've got a squad out to the west of village. We've got a squad out to the east. We've yeah. got a full squad defend. Yeah, and it's just, uh, they're, they're sort of every single attack gets counterattacked immediately, which is awesome strategy. The, I'll give them that, uh, but the U.S. side just has to sort of find an angle and attack from that angle. And right now, uh, to the east of Village, they are completely, well, unmolested. There, there's no one there sort of harassing them. They could... They could actually attack from there quite successfully. But there is a squad coming in from our fob. Uh, squad 3 led by Black Panther. Absolutely. But I mean, if they if they did their stuff right, they would be out of that compound attacking village long before that yes. squad even be makes it. And it's uh, also being attacked be now by a pro. So the, yeah. the squad you're talking about. Yes, four of them are down already. Beautiful play by the crow then. Uh, that's Illuminatus and Snare. Snare? No idea how to pronounce his name. Copy. Uh, oh, the guys in the Humvee. Let me, let me have a look. It might be Scandinavian. He's, well, he's Finnish according to his name. Oh, that's, so it's probably uh, Snurra. Or it could be Snurra. Which is a, it's an old Norse Viking dude. Try and push him slowly, Panther. Yeah, yeah, north of village. I'm hearing a 50 or a BTR firing from somewhere, but I don't yeah, know where it is. North of village now driving towards the east. Uh, yes, it, it was, so it was hitting the people going down the road then. Yeah, it was actually heading Echo forward eight, pairs. Squad 6 are still them. trying to push up towards that farm, but getting nowhere. They've got a few guys pushing down towards their rally point. We still do not have a fob at District. We've got Squad 5 who are still sat in that same compound. Uh, squad 5 today is led by... Yeah, y'all. Hang on, hang on. Uh, you sort of need to come and look at village here. We have an attack happening. There's three guys sort of pushing okay, into village. And there's only down. four defenders three, here. Uh, uh, or, and a BTR, obviously. But these yeah, defenders, down. they're holding one entrance each. Uh, there's right? So they're really spread out. Down. And these three attackers are all concentrated on one side oh, here. The enemy comes in Grand this down. could actually work. They've just called right, out that uh, there's enemies I've got, I've got, in Grandel. Uh, that's empty passive at the moment in Delta 8, keypad 4. And the um, Humvee on. east of that. Yeah, there's one guy. Take so. Care of the logi. so, yes, they've just called Look out a Logi uh, abandoned. I didn't catch the grid square. Watch out, is... that yeah, there's an abandoned Logi. Let me have a look. It's well, not Logi. Like there's the two team. abandoned sort of trucks, but they're uh, south west of village or south of village. Yeah, that BTR is going to destroy them. Yeah. And their squad that. five also took out the uh, FOB you guys had on Grandel there. Our FOB no, wasn't at Grandel. Well, no, it was south of Grandel. 12-7, and it is still there. 
Oh, really? Okay, they've, they've found it, and then they are attacking it currently. They're coming up on, on the south side of it. But they, they reported they took out an FOB somewhere. I can't really um, uh, tell you where, though. Mark it. Ah, uh, there we go. They've taken our FOB down. That wasn't market. Oh, man, got infantry mm. in the, the attack is now happening on village here. And they're coming in in force. Full squad attacking all market. If we could have and all they have to do, really, is outnumber Which they already uh, the Russians. do. They're capturing? They already outnumber in the cap zone. Just keep pushing north. Yes, they are capturing. Oh, this could be... This could be crazy. So, this could just what turn we around. was... This, they are telling they are telling everyone to fall back into the cap zone at Village. Yeah, and there's a lot of guys spawning, but you have to be super duper quick right now. They have Winsky just got the third guy, so that's it. They are now out, are outnumbered. They will have stalled the cap. Yeah, which is a terrible crying shame. Just as things was getting interesting, the cap yeah, stopped. But, I mean, yeah, they have squads here now, and, and just everyone pulling back like this, this panic reaction really gives you, yeah, you a lot of freedom everywhere else, because right now, they're pulling back with everything they have. Yes, the gol and the Golf 7 fob has gone down. There's two no, two more fobs. So we have so one long... fob left active in oh, Delta 6 3. Yeah, well, yeah, I took two out, but then so yeah, the fob so in the field. Yeah. yeah, that is the only fob we have right now. And what's your ticket count? 216. 216, still leading by 40 tickets, but but that's still, uh, they, I mean, what was it, 60 tickets or yes. so they caught up by, yeah, they caught up by So that fob caught them up by the 20 tickets, but... Yeah, but they took out two fobs, so they were actually down 80 tickets at some point. Yes. I guess another uh, crow went down or something. Something's happened. <laughs> But as, yep. as everyone knows, we can't be everywhere and see everything. Absolutely not. And the Did attack the on the Did the manage to take out those two trucks to the south? Ah, uh, that, well, it took out at least one of them. Because I see on the map there's still one there. Ah, uh, so they took out one, so that'll have closed yeah, it a little there's bit. one in Delta 9, Key 1-ish. So it's far so, far away. Yeah, so th they may not have known about that one. They did only call out the one. But as yeah. you see, just look at village now. Village is absolutely crawling with Russian forces. Absolutely. And I mean, that was one squad attacking, only three guys actually getting into the flag. And look at the, uh, the sort of reaction. There was, they there, got. Yes, there was an immediate reaction by Russian forces. All bar three of the Russian team pulled to village. Right. And this sort of. I would call it obviously an overreaction, but uh, it in works. Their eyes, yeah, they don't have they don't have the information we do, but but this gives the U.S. side a huge amount of freedom. They can do a lot of things now. Uh, obviously, if they had they had anything really productive to do, uh, they'd be doing it right now. Yeah, but now. there's very very little. Now's the time to get some fobs down. Absolutely. Now's the time to get some fobs down or, or clear out suspected enemy fob locations like they have done here on the uh, uh, the east side of sort of uh, district center as well. That little compound where EA Yarl was, uh, was in. They, they're they now, US side are now all over that compound making just, sure there's nothing there. Just have to say I am glad I know how to pronounce his name. EA Yarl? Yeah. Or, yeah, it's, uh, he's using the A ah letter, so it's... <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just EA. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know it's not enough. quite pronounced like that, um, it's what, but because it's not joined... Yeah, yeah, then it's EA, that's actually true. But I, rem I can't remember how it looks, but I know they're joined somehow. <laughs> Right, I'll take them in, yeah, it's basically it's yeah, joined right on there, the one. the right side of the A and the left side of the E. The, those two lines are the same line, so the E line is diagonal. Ah, uh, that's the one. That's it. Yeah, it is the uh, what twenty eighth letter of our alphabet, something like that. Twenty eighth. Yes, we have three more letters of the alphabet than you. That's just greedy.
Nah, it's an improvement. Trust me. You don't have the proper sounds. <laughs> we do. For those. They're, they're manly letters. Manly, manly letters. It's all but I'm, pr noises. I'm pretty sure the EA is actually classed as a feminine letter. Well, I don't think so. It's ah. That's how you pronounce it. It doesn't really sound feminine to me. Can we have someone like if my wife outside. steps on a Lego, well. possibly. <laughs> that's that's feminine. <laughs> but yeah, it's the uh, Yarl as well as yeah, obviously that with is... the J. It's well, not quite pronounced the same in Scandinavian countries. Down. Well, it's it's uh, in that it's pretty... context. No, it's Yarl over it's here, which is the E is. Which is yeah, our right ours a bit jarl to pronounce yeah. it in. Pretty much. So this continues to be a rather uneventful match. I mean, except for that one attack that sort of nearly got somewhere. Yeah, and um, it's normally tactical Tuesday matches are ending now. Uh, and fortunately, I have loads of time on my hands. As here. do I. Uh, we are at 206 tickets with one hour of play. Yeah, we are at 168 tickets right here. So, so the lead is tickets. 40 tickets. Yes. Could change at any minute. That's one BTR and a couple guys. And that is... Take that fob down at Village and... Well, yeah. looking at the map... That fob, t take that fob down at village, and you are pretty much going to roll over the flags right now. There is yeah, no absolutely. other fobs down. Yeah, it's the same thing at district. There is no, actually, now there is a, a fob on Fox 7, that little compound where they were before. They're now using that as a staging point to attack village, it seems. Uh, what which they... may or may not work. What they can't see is what we can is the line that uh, Rusty and Placers have with their BTR and the five, four, five guys spread out along that yeah. uh, defilade. Absolutely. And it is, they hear the BTR now, so I assume they're yeah, going the to be. Yeah, uh... the BTR has just taken out one of the guys that are coming from that angle. Yeah, and these, I mean, these, uh, these sort of raised roads are super duper nice cover for that BTR. Six, you got, uh, it's just perfectly suited your, because uh, it's tur board. it's just over the edge there. Yeah, I've just got down the BTR to the eye level, level of the BTR and Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, it's not that great at distance though. I mean it can be done, but well, let's give it a bit pro, of a zoom just to have a look. Yeah, right now looking there is nobody actually visible to the BTR. They're all behind hills or tr a tree or the compound wall. Yeah. But it is looking right at them. Absolutely. So and I mean, all it takes they... is for them to be visible for a few seconds and that BTR. At the sort of range it's at, it's only 200 meters or so. Yeah. I mean, it's not ideal. I would say the BTR works best around 100 meters because it has quite the spread. To be honest. Yeah, but, but and another guy goes down. Yeah, they they have to And another one. That way. And it takes a hit. That was an amazing shot. Macfish getting a hit on that BTR. The curve yeah. just dropped it straight into the side. And it's pulling back immediately though. To its credit, they they realize they cannot afford to lose that BTR and still we can do sort of do the same the thing they're doing right now. I do have to say that was one of the best shots I've seen with a law for a long time. <laughs> I saw... Uh, the curve fired and it dropped down that uh, raised road and hit the BTR directly in the side. Didn't hit the turret, it just he managed to drop it just right. Oh, that's beautiful. So I, I would highly recommend when it gets to this point, people actually make a highlight of that. Yeah, not only that, I actually, from uh, last week's CCFN as well, I got a at least 200 meter RPG shot uh, made by some mumblerines, I think, which was pretty epic. They didn't kill the BTR, but still. 
the good thing with the the good thing though is well i say good it's not really that good for you to be <laughs> against a btr uh btr uh rpg the rpgs are a lot more accurate than the lore is yeah it's the got a lot less a drop lot less. yeah but he, I would say the law. I'd still prefer the law because most RPG shots is are close, close range. range. Yeah. But if you, and you don't have that whole switching between ammo, the law is decent against both infantry and uh, and uh, like sort vehicles. of uh, vehicles. Yeah. So I still sure prefer the law. I do like the law. Yeah. I like the beat at the RPG the though. Way if way. I'm if I have the chance to use it, just for them long distance sniping shots against crows and things where they sit for 500 meters away and start picking you off. The yeah. RPG is fairly easy to make them shots. The law is pot lock. Yeah. I guess that's what you get when your RPG is made of plastic. Or the law, at least. It's also one of the reasons the U.S. forces stopped using the law and started using the AT-4. It's a shame that the AT-4 is not in the game. Yep, the uh, Norwegian army has a huge surplus of those laws, though. Take the north route, fire that fire. <laughs> I remember firing a bunch of test ones. Back in the day. Don't the Norwegian forces now use the uh, AT-4, the Carl Gustav, as well? Oh, they probably do. I don't know. But I just remember that whole plastic tube that you uh, <laughs> pull out, and then you put it on your shoulder, and the sights are horrendous. <laughs> which, it is the worst sights imaginable. Which is, from what I can tell, fairly accurate with how they are in game two. Yeah. But at least the sights on the law are adjustable. Unlike in game where you can't adjust for a. Yeah, but I mean, like, the thing is, the sights on the. Well, I I don't know if it's the law or what. It's called the M eighty four or something, you know. Yes. Like, but they just they just give it an M and some number just because that's the eighty fourth thing we bought, right? <laughs> but the sights are horrendous. Like you need. Two Ooh, hours of things schooling look like just they're to... progressing on district. Don't press too far, guys. Really? Hold, hold, hold. Slowly starting to get people pushing up. So we've got a uh, rips mark and Trixie are pushing up that uh, western road. Mmm, yeah, 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 on that side right market. there. Holland Fiora was up there and okay. did manage to take out uh, SVG's uh, Simon. But there is no uh, Russian fob up there, is there? No. The Still closest fob we have in, to District uh, Fox Shot, Fox Shot is Shot all six, the seven, way up uh, in six, Echo, seven, five, seven. E Echo 1 5. Ah, but there are actually US forces closing in on that FOB. Just keep that well, there's walking. two of them alive, but no, no, they, they know there's something you know, up there. The east, the village, can you tell them I'd be surprised on, if they didn't, uh, because Russians are pouring out there, trying to stop them. They're just... Uh, Holland, Holland Fiora is just calling out to Mark that there is enemies... Uh, there was enemies bandaging on his body, and they picked up the guy that he took down. Reporting enemies at Nova Isle. So they've just reported enemies yeah, just at Nova Isle. So at Nova uh, Isle. All oh, the yeah, way there's... back on their first flag. Yeah, but there is one person there. There's one US soldier there, and he's probably just there to make sure there's no Russian fobs there. It's like we have a full, what, half a squad still around that compound in Foxtrot 7. Mark, you have a full squad just north of you. Careful. Uh, squads have yeah, once again spread out uh, at Village. We've got a squad on the island in Echo 5. They're either mounting a big attack or they're uh, ticking so low. Uh, so, just Must called over. Time, they're either mounting for an attack or their tickets are low. 
Uh, how are you well, standing right now? Very we are at game. 155 tickets. Not so really the, low, but the I gap think has that... closed. You're at 155 tickets. The, no, the gap has closed. We are at, uh, cl got closer. Sorry, we're at 198. So it's got down to j 40 tickets now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, obviously, if game continues as is, uh, it's going to be a very close game. Absolutely. Very uneventful game. Yeah, and hopefully round two will be different, but God knows. I've, I mean, it could be... I wouldn't say this has been an even match. I'd say this has been a match where both it of them decided, boring. let's just be defensive. And this this is the <laughs> result. <laughs> but... Uh, I, I, I don't know if, if uh, RIP sort of deserves this win more than... No, the it's... Squads. I think they've just <laughs> been like we found the fobs. So yeah, there you this go. is mm -hmm. one of those games that you think if this was a pub game, I would probably be leaving out of boredom. Yeah, I'm. But, if, no. I could, I couldn't play a game like this. I just couldn't do it. So no. props to both teams for managing to re remain calm and keep with what yeah. they're doing and. I'm sure there's a couple of guys playing this game who have not seen an enemy yet. There has to be someone well, doing some flank or something. Everyone on our team, uh, apart from one person, has died at least once. Oh, sorry, three people that I can see have died at least once. And you've got the same. You've got a couple of guys who haven't died but have got killed. So yeah. everybody's... They may not have seen the enemy, but they've all come into contact at some point yeah and it could have been in the first few minutes so they've been sitting now for a, like a good 55 minutes uh, well yeah we've had looked, an hour and yeah. 10 of live play yeah holding an angle and just uh yeah because the first 10 minutes they had some action and then hour later contacts they're like that well <laughs> and uh, it's yeah. like uh, we lost one btr in the first 30 minutes and yeah, that you BTR uh, you lost we lo you lost the crows we lost the BTR instantly that afterwards BTR. that BTR's BTR back in play bad. again obviously for a while now and it's just sat again in echo 5 at that just sh just off of that island yeah it's been marked now, actually. It's like they are sat in that compound at Foxtrot 7 defending their fob. They are sat all over district center. Yeah. We're all over village and spread out on the eastern flank. Right now, it'd be a good time for somebody to try and sneak past uh, Rip's Dr. Gal, who's the only person watching West. If somebody could cut, uh, we've got Rip's gal on the west, and we've got Rip's uh, Rip uh, Ego stay on the south in that compound in Echo Eight. So if somebody was to try go slightly south of Ego Stein, Ego Stein, and come ho hook around that compound and come through that field on the western side, they'd be able to push into village. Nobody yeah, and... is paying attention to the west. Everyone is focused on the east and the northeast. But I mean, if you look at Egenstein as well, he might be bugged on my screen, but he appears to be holding the bandage looking around. He's not going to... Uh, uh, but he has Americans, uh, Squad Beans, Miss Piggy, and Snow. Yeah, it's on my screen. In. He has got his GL up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mm. He's seen them now. GL yeah. going. And he misses. And oh take my shots. God. And he misses again. In between the two, that is unlucky. Incredible. Twice he hits directly. In between. He has hit uh, Snare though, because he is bandaging. And Ego Stein is bandaging too. Yeah, but they're rushing up right now. They realize they and have to close the distance. And here comes the grenade. Grenade. And he oh, falls short. Close. Yeah, but he I should be injured. Up on the, uh, that was close enough. Yeah, he's to pulling his bandage out. He needs to bandage, and they are still rushing up. They're running now. Miss Piggy keeping the distance. 
Uh, I think Miss Piggy might have, yeah, the optics here. Oh, how the hell? That's one of those lucky, uh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's the sort of moment that you think, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, exactly. I once uh, was alive after lying right next to a grenade, which made me start thinking that well, there's actually shrapnel uh, sort of detection. Yeah, like, I've, it doesn't just I, kill you. It's very, very rare, but I have seen people survive direct hits to the face. From the north side of this yeah. field. With the GL. Because we don't have eyes on from here. And I mean, Snod isn't even bandaging. No, and that was a direct hit. That hit him. Pretty much. Uh, it was very, very close it, to the side of He should have think. gone down. Absolutely, I agree. Away from it too much. That's what they want. But there is reinforcements coming right, up now. You've got Dominator, Emu West, and Piss Miggy goes down. But Snarf is coming into the compound where Ego Stein is, and Ego Stein doesn't have a clue. If they are in the if same squad, Snarl and Piss Miggy, yeah, they yeah. will be communicating that they roughly where you Yeah, but uh Egostein now has plenty of uh reinforcements coming in. Two guys, yep. Emu West and, and Dominator. Snarl is taking oh, out trade Trade Oh that's terrible news. Need supply drop at um village soon as So he survives a grenade near enough hitting him in the uh, face, yeah. but then trade. Bob, you can do it, mate. Alright, so way. right now I'm listening to squad comms here and they are talking yeah. about like, okay, they think they're down. And uh. they think they want to do something about it, right? So they're organizing now an attack on village. They're now discussing how they're going to do it and where the fob's going to be, stuff like that. Uh, it's, we're at 189 tickets. Yeah, 149. So exactly 40 tickets difference right now. So yes, this uh, this game could change at any moment. Absolutely, and especially if this attack actually Just don't get your guys uh, your is successful. Now, I have my reservations. Uh, village is not an easy point to either sneak up on or attack, but if they manage to get there and take out that FOB then it, it's only going to go one way. Yeah. Yeah, make sure that Daisy doesn't fall. Uh, the FOB North, the one in Echo 5-1, has gone down. Uh, 1-5, sorry, has gone down. I don't know whether they took it down themselves, but it is no well, longer uh, that. Yeah, I think they took it down themselves because I haven't seen any US troops up there at all. We However, have... do you remember Trixie and Mark? Or Tricky? No, yes. it's Trixie. Yes, they I... have... Basically, from market, they went prone in the field, and they are now oh, south of district center. But they have been crawling. The blast the on my AK way. is coming Clear. up right behind them. Looks cleared at the moment. Sprinting off, through that way, field. If it wants to. Yeah, he is, but they've it's been prone there, this handle. entire time. I've watched them several times. Watch out. So he might just Holy... run straight past. How close? No. Oh, he's seen. He's seen yeah. Mark. Three, you got context, no, no, <laughs> holy! Copy. And they're still crawling. That's just the patience. And that takes some discipline to stop moving and not shoot. Yeah, and I think oh, honestly people. that they're trying to sneak up on the FOB uh, in in uh, Golf Five. I wish them luck. Yeah, and they're just, they've chosen the most roundabout way of, they'd be better off crawling from Maine. <laughs> That's the best side but of this it. is impressive, and they're now continuing on their way. Uh, the, that was so close. That he was that, near enough absolutely. stepped on Mark. Yeah. One free, can I throw from the west side of it? Yeah, just do it, Bob, should be right. Alright, so I think the attack is sort of taking shape. They know which squads are going to attack here. Uh, I'm unsure exactly sort of which side they're going to attack from. It doesn't really matter because they're going to know about it uh, on uh, Village there. They have excellent scouts all over. Yeah, they've got a BTR and a, nearly a full squad to the south now where Ego Stein was earlier. 
And they've yeah, got that's... squad th two squads, one on the island, one on the crossroads in Echo 6. They've got a squad on defense and they've got a squad in Tempest Estate. Yeah. So the only way so to attack from like would be... the south flank is pulling back and leaving Ego Stein down there on his own again. Yeah, but I mean, the only real <laughs> way to attack now. this flag would be from the uh, west, which we've already discussed is a terrible, terrible angle. Yeah, and if the second they get spotted, it just means that people are going to use. We saw it earlier. They tried the south. Two guys tried to come up from the south. Ego Stein spotted them. They reacted instantly and got four guys down there to support. Yeah. And I mean, right now, like, even if you tried to get in from the west, you have guys north of that sort of approach. They'd see you. You'd have to go on the south side, and then you have Dominator in the field. Very sort of checking out that south side of the road. Uh, heading, Ego uh, Stein to the very far south in that compound. Gal on the hill yeah. to the south. There's just, yeah, there's just no real way to sneak in here the right now. Right now, I Keep think the only out, thing uh, would, yeah. that they could possibly do is get a crows, use it at range, take out some of the defenders, hit, and push in fast and hard. You are going to lose a lot of guys, but if you can take them out and get that fob down, well, it's game over on that flight. I think, honestly, you could do well with two Humvees as well, two full-loaded Humvees. Just drive up the road, as soon as you reach the uh, edge of the uh, compound, just jump out, 10 guys out, Copy and uh, get in, and there you go. Or even keep the two guy, the four guys in the Humvee, uh, the, ten guy, the, other, the rest of the crew gets out, and the Humvees uh, provide cover, because you do still yeah. cap while you're in the Humvees. Oh, you do? Yes, it's really. Uh, the gunner sees the ticket, uh, the count, the driver doesn't, but he hit. He apparently does Did still count. All right. I was unaware. Uh, there is actually a rather large attack heading. You know the island? Uh, yes, you know what I mean? I see that. Yeah, and it looks like U.S. forces are pretty much clearing out the Russians here. They probably suspect an FOB, uh, which there isn't, I assume? Nope. The FOB is still in Delta 6-3, the one they found earlier. Yeah. They found it and on never, on village. just like the fob we found, uh, the Russians found Go in Gulf. Ooh, Trixie and Mark are getting very close. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell, that is patient. Yeah, they're going to get close to that fob. Someone's going to spawn on it and just kill them. both of them. Yeah, because they couldn't decide who was going to shovel. Or something stupid, you know? Well, it's that's an easy decision. The shoveler is going to be Trixie. Oh, there's a squad leader. Mark me. is the squad lead. Oh, but, yeah, he is the... He's the commander. I, oh, I'd assumed true. he was, but I think it now... May, I now I'm now i now thinking it may be Aspen. Ah, uh, they might have switched roles just because he wanted some action as well. Now. Although Mark I would never call Mark is still in a two-man squad. Uh, so that's what made me assume, but Aspen does seem to be the one that's leading it. Alright. Grenadier is firing on the east side of village. And right, right so now Mark at... is Mark and Trixie is his entire squad. So it's him and a medic. Yeah, and they're so... gonna have like there's guys spawning uh, here. Right? Yes, that's there's constantly. a full squad on that around that fob right now. And they are just going to that island. Oh. They're going. They're heading towards that island. So there is a small chance that Mark and Trixie's patience may pay off. It is a small chance, but well, if it we does, have props to them. Absolutely, but I just don't think they're going to be able to take it down fast enough. You would have reactions like, and right now we have Kalba and Revenge. Heading up there, and at so any moment they, they could spot one of them. Oh, they, they may have been spotted. Calva just did go pro. Yeah, and they have now heading out into the field directly for Calva. Possible contacts on the west no, side. No, for oh, Trixie, really sorry. Good. But passing Trixie. Nope. No, oh, no. He's getting directions. He's getting directions from Calva here. 
Cab was saying, no, it wasn't that far out. Mark on the north side. Like it. Revenge Day Evan knows something's up. Calva as well. Probably telling. Let me, uh, let me try I... getting close. See if I can hear something in local. They are shooting. Yeah, there Trixie we go. takes down Revenge. Just got too close. Mark taking down Calva. We've got enemies coming up on the Camp, the only wow. one I hear yeah, nothing in this, the squad about. This is just some amazing patience. They've yeah, crawled all that way. Now. And they're calling it now, saying yep. enemies close on that FOB. Yep. But they've now... There is no one there. There is no one defending. There is no one defending. They need people spawning Punisher there immediately. Is... Oh, no. A... Squad beans are pulling back with HSR's Punisher. Yeah, and uh, he's shooting GLs, so this fob is going to remain up. They weren't lucky enough, pretty much. They really, well, really made a solid move for it. Yes. They're not going to get it. Now, if, if they're... Yo, can I borrow a copy of your guys, please? I mean, if they start Mark, digging this, they're going to shoot just GLs at the fob. Mark and calling me. out, he's on the fob. Uh, and saying, is there anyone available Minus that's down so they can join his squad no, and spawn? Ah, oh, that is but a very, very smart move. But he tried to get a rally point down, and it failed. Really? Why? There is... Um, oh, well, they might be within 50 no, meters I, here. I don't think they're quite within 50 meters. That's very, very strange. Trixie is digging. Yeah, but... Mark's good. As soon as they see that, oh, they see the fob going down now, so it is below 50%. I wish I could see the status bar here, uh, but we have Illuminatus running, trying to catch up. If they could take down this fob, that's going to be Trixie just saying into Mark in local chat, nice work. And the grenade, the rocket hits the tree. Mark goes down, He's getting and Trixie. Oh, so that close. Was, yeah, but some extreme patience there that ended up not paying off, but that was amazing. That was, that was a amazing play, and it would the only way it would have been better is if it had have played off for the RIP guys. Absolutely. Mark calling out in squad chat that the FOB was already... They must have been halfway through. Yeah, they were. And pulled a half squad back to the fob location, but there is nobody nearby district center to cap. Yeah. So it does look like the uh, island in Echo 5, the Russian forces have retaken control of that. Absolutely, they have. So we're... Uh, an hour and 26 minutes into the game, and we're at 175 tickets. 127 right now, so it looks like it's increased back to 60 tickets. 50. T yeah, that's a 50 ticket. Yeah, 50. Mm. Yeah, and, but, uh, still fairly close game. Yeah, they really need to start attacking, but really, where are they going to attack from? There's just no way. Like, they'd have to attack... From Tempest to State, that's the literally the only angle that can work on this flag. They have to go there. They have to sort of secure an FOB and and, and defend that, and then make this attack work. Because the way it is, it's not working at all. No, it's and like I said video. earlier. They. The only way this game, either team, is going to cap one of the flags is if somebody leaves completely and it guys, keep it up. Risks, risks it now. Absolutely. Uh, do Russians have an FOB north of market? Uh, north of market? Negative. Around where I am? No, okay. The only fob we have again is the one in Crow Delta Six. Okay, uh, okay. Copy that. But for, so for the entire game, the only two flags that have been capped for each team are the Stonebender Market and then for for Russia and Nova Island Grandel for the U.S. It has been a complete stalemate. Yep. 
it is just and... all about bleeding them of tickets on kills and assets. Absolutely, and and I mean it's it's not not been this way out of necessity. I would say it's been this way out of design. They've chosen they've chosen to do it that way, which is. Uh, I mean, it's obviously a strategy, yeah. It's not the most interesting of choices. Not only that, but I mean, in like in any other situation, it could have gone either way. If you ask me, I I would not say it's because they got outplayed that the U.S. side is losing right now. They didn't get outplayed specifically. They lost more. They've lost more assets. Yeah, and it's been very, very incremental, and where you have those sort of uh, split-second decisions, just sort of like, or a lot of things compounding up, like, there's no way to control that. I mean, you could you could just trust that you have the better players, uh, but I I wouldn't do that every time, you know? I, I, I would try to secure my win some other yeah, way than just saying, I'm fine with a stalemate, uh, we're always going to win a stalemate, sort of. Yeah. It's, it's, I, this is the longest Tactical Tuesday round I have ever seen. Yeah, it could actually go all the way here, lasting another half an hour, because the way the tickets are being spent right now, uh, it's going slow enough that this could, this could last another half an hour. And right now we yeah. have a huge attack on the south flank near Egostein again. I wonder if anyone manages to take a GL to the face, but they they have been spotted. Emo West, Aspen, and Absolutely. Uh, Riego pulling out. back down. This is a much larger attack than last time, though, so it yes, could this is a full mount to squad something. This time. Yeah, and Ego Stein looks to be getting uh, flanked here by Simon. Call of Duty oh. goes. Down. Yeah. Call of Duty and Smiley. Call of Duty went down by Ego Stein a little while ago. Ego Stein still alive, linking up with Emu West. And the BTR now flanking around. Okay. I see. But this crew Simon might... is bandaging. He's just thrown oh, Emu just thrown a grenade. And he takes down and gets hit by a rocket. By Moham. Moham wasted no, his going rockets. Down. Have it. After having heard the BTR, he wastes a rocket. That is really I think, daring. I think it was a case of he had it up for the BTR and saw the guy, so didn't want to risk being shot. Yeah, which and is still got shot. Yeah. So there's now on this flank, there's SVG's Terry, who's a nice. medic picking up Renegade. Call of Duty and Smiley back up. The silly there. Ego Stein taking down Terry and. Uh, one, one, I'm sending, the guy uh, hit Terry just board. picked up, but then going down himself. Yeah, we uh, missed something actually pretty crucial here on the south side where the BTR is. Kind of uh, trying to flank the troops that were heading in. It stumbled across a, B a Humvee here and destroyed it. Ooh. Yeah. So that's another um... ticket hit there. Was that a standard or a pros? I am unsure. I just saw it as it went, so I, I couldn't really be sure here. Yeah, and it's, just looking it's at it, hard the, to the tell. body looks like a standard. I don't yeah, know if the I'm the not sure if the wreckage different. does look different. I can't remember. Yeah, but we are at 92 tickets now. Wow. Less than 100. So yeah, that's dramatically increased the gap. We are at 170. So there is yeah. an 80 ticket gap once again. Yeah, and that makes me like, and with the low amount of tickets right now, that makes me feel like this is only going to go one that's way, and that's the Russian now. way right now. Yeah, it is. Must have some sort of spawn point here. So they're calling out some spawn, sort of there. spawn point uh, around where that BTR is now, 24, 24. where Ego Stein was. Uh, I'm assuming they've got a rally because I see the Moam and, Moam and Simon uh, running They're in the field. The right now I hear the uh, US side here announcing that hopefully 
uh, they have more coffee and sandwiches than the enemy, allowing them to <laughs> fight for longer here. But, as we know, they do not. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I don't think they meant tickets there. I, I think they literally meant coffee and sandwiches and they're preparing <laughs> to win round two. Just by simply uh, having more I'm, energy to I'm, play. I'm definitely in need of coffee after this. <laughs> Fortunately, I brought chips. So, uh, I'm good for now. I'm excited to see how long the break they're going to take is going to be. I'm assuming some people need to relieve themselves at some point. Uh, we definitely need a break for after this one. Like I say, Tactical Tuesday games normally go on for an hour. This has already been just over an hour and a half. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, it just ooh, it makes me feel like they the have, next round will be They super have quick. got Bob Lee Swagger up on the roof with a 50 cal uh, standard non-emplacement 50 looking straight at that compound to the south. He, All right. he is Over firing there. short bursts from village and has yeah. taken down one guy from SVG. But Simon, Carl, the Moam, Frankie and Renegade all moving slowly through this field. Yeah, do you crawling see? Oh, they're or, not even crawling. Yeah, they they're were prone. they were crawling or they're crouching and they've been crouching and leaning to get that extra little bit of height. Uh, taken yeah. away. And they're undetected so far. Simon now rushing up. But if this Got actually... No, this will never work. No. They're just too many RIP guys, too close. But I mean, yeah. if they could just... Sit tight. Three guys going down yeah, from Rip. Oh my and god. Moham now going down. Two Ego Stein. They know, they have enemies close, they know. Yeah, grenades going over the wall, Pyro getting hit by a frag and then bleeding out. Oh my goodness, so this actually, this attack could sort of soften up the target for the guys. Ego Stein all getting hit their squad blast. Ego Stein turning and not getting taken out by Simon then. He did take out Frankie in the field, but then the Simon area. took him out. Yeah, yeah, Bobly Swagger calling out, they yeah, are in the field, less south, than 50 meters. Uh, uh, Winsky throwing frags into said field, trying to get Renegade. It lands close, but not close squad enough. To... Yeah, Squad 2 asking for reinforcements. They are the guys in village right now. They're saying, hey guys, we are inside village. Please, we need help right now. And Call of Duty, alive because and well, on flag, yeah, Renegade. And taking down Bob Lee Swagger, there is only... What, two guys it's from Rip now in chat. the capture. Yeah, I'm down. yeah, but Renegade getting taken out, only Call of Duty now, alive, on flag. Yeah, and only Call of Duty, Call of Duty is left alive in the area. His yeah. entire squad, minus himself, were taken out. Oh, but he is fighting well. But Taking out, look at the reinforcements from Rip coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. RIP once no, again. Thinking, but uh, I mean, when they reinforce like that, that's one ticket. Yeah. Every guy that shows up, that's one ticket. So, yeah. I mean, forcing them to make that kind of reaction might force a lot of people. Yeah. Might force a lot of people to just give up and respawn right there. And right now. Uh, the, the US side needs every advantage they can get. Call of Duty going down. Yeah, but damn what a play he made right there. That okay, was a the really good play. And they've just called out the cap is secure. Yeah, and uh, Squad 1 still pushing in. The, he, like, this attack made the Russian side rally around and, and sort of focus inward a lot more and has been, or has been giving the US side an opportunity to push much much closer than they were originally. SVG Smiley moving to the south in that field again. He has been spotted and goes down. Yeah. Right so, now. 
they're checking. This attack. It seems to look like they're checking around that bridge area again for a spawn point. Yeah, no spawn point there. There might have been a rally point, but it's gone now. So it there is just SVG Terry up in the fields once again. All, all of HSR that were pushing in on that eastern side are now dead. Yeah. And what kind of ticket count are you at now? I'm at 59. 158. Yeah, so the ticket is now, well, it's now at 100, the deficit, yeah. so... They, so that attack cost them 20 tickets. Yeah, it did indeed, which is a shame, but because it was... I mean, it wasn't close, but it was close. It was as close it was as anyone's a, ever gotten, yeah. It was a great play. Absolutely. So that's two great plays in this game so far that I can that immediately spring to mind as great plays. And that yeah. was that push then by SVG. And the extreme amount of patience that Mark and Trixie had earlier going for that fob. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, Smiley, uh, he had a friend, Terry, crawling up behind him there. And Terry was a medic. The terrorists oh. now brought Smiley BTR back up, virus. crawling towards Blast on my AK and that uh, BTR, BTR there. And Rip Ego Stein, which the BTR runs over Ego Stein. <laughs> but they are surrounded. Blast on my AK, let out. Is it not worth now sending uh, the squad they the are AK. absolutely surrounded. Though. Are we on that already? Absolutely, they are surrounded, but. Uh, <laughs> It's, this is the sort of situation yes, where yeah, there's nothing, you, all you can do here anything. right now is get killed. Yeah, it get, gets run over. No, it just Terry. missed him, it went, went right in front of his face, the wheels must have been looking, he must have had his gun under the wheel. Yeah. Now, when he's reversing, he may get run over unless he crawls fast enough. Charlie, if you get any guys, uh, down. Obviously, Terry just hoping everyone will leave this BTR right now, <laughs> <laughs> so he can shoot them. Yeah, All right. So there's Terry and Smiley, and we've got Winsky and Ego Stein right on top of Terry. Ego Stein goes down, and so does Winsky. Terry getting two kills, they're Aspen moving in. And it instantly been called out that enemies are on the repair station and he's down. Yeah. But that's, I mean, in that situation, you can do nothing. But look at Smiley crawling up at the side of the building. He crawled up the embankment and got to the side of the building. There's nothing he can do right now on his own, though. There is just too many Russian forces. Yeah, and Pyro coming around here. And he Gonna did go a down. look. Oh, and he, he looked at him right as he goes down. Aspen taking shots. Did not get to kill Smiley there, though. Now it being called out that did you get him? Oh, Smiley was bandaging. Okay, do we need to fall back secure? The worst, and I think the worst possible thing to happen in that situation. You have to bandage and then somebody turns the corner as you switch. Yeah, generally, I find that you will survive a very long time without banging. usually. It all there depends on how badly yeah. you hurt. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I mean, I think the US side are just gonna try an all-out attack. Oh! Oh! Mark! Oh. Mark, back up on that far. <laughs> Mark and Trixie, but uh, <laughs> they are aware, and there's guys pulling in now. But Mark and Trixie taking out two guys from that fob. Calba still alive on that fob, and actually pulling away a little bit. Gonna try a little flank. Yes, now nah, coming up the river. Yeah, Trixie crawling through the water. Not a Finn getting taken out, being a good guy and not proning in the water and just shooting at Mark here. But he get, did take down Mark. They did yes. trade. Trixie's still alive though and being the medic. 
can do this, but Illuminatus now pushing up. Trixie might just lie in the water and wait. Illuminatus is a medic. Oh, so he's gonna bring everyone back you up. Yeah, and this is up. Up. yeah, and then this you is gonna fail as a result. Mark's just yeah. not gonna be able to uh, be got gotten up. West is Thirty-nine tickets. This might. Hundred and fifty-three. Yeah. So this is only gonna go one way. South, close to Nova but Isle. sixteen minutes, forty-two seconds. Up. Oh my god, and not a flag cap Purpose 14 kill, that was for nearly two hours. People closing in on emo. Watch it, people closing in on emo. Trixie Promise just biding his emo. time and East. not being spotted. Which wing is that? East? Yeah. Copy. Which is the only, only real move you can make right here. Hoping they pull uh, away from Mark are. so you can get him up. But, I mean, Apart you, you will have... Yeah, you will have Paneer, you have Revenge Raven, okay. sort of up north there, Illuminati, oh. still sticking yeah, around. Be the side, yes, but... Gonna be really, really tricky to get him up. And as long as he doesn't give up as well, that's gotta tell them something. I'm with you. Which also... I'm staying with you. It's also crawl... he is crawling, so... Is he going to get there in time? Is Mark going to bleed out before he gets there? They do have a rally point. Mark has put a rally point down up in that compound in Golf uh, Golf Force uh, Air Eight. Stay there. Already got one fob fuel, guys. Wrong. So yeah, so they can quickly re-enter. Bull just calling out in team chat. Just watch the ticket. Only 15 minutes to go. Well, yeah. Thirty-two so they are, tickets left they for are US trying side. To just Full squad coming in from the west. South in, west. By that time and lots of contacts on Echo Eight. So they're yeah, pulling out a lot of contacts on along the ridges uh, of the Fox side from Fox Nova Fox Island and west. Echo Eight moving west. What's a report for Billy? I can see west. four guys. Contacts, and uh, there is uh, SVG. Coming up on that western approach again, though. But yeah. as we spoke about earlier, it's not a great move, and they've already been spotted. And guys going down. Yeah, and the BTR now just sort of shooting at the field, hoping yeah. to get someone. Not an ideal move. Oh, Rockets B being shot at the BTR, missing completely. Uh, but he goes down immediately. Moham now. Call of Duty trading there. So just Moham, I know Moham is an LAT guy. It's he does look to be bandaging. Enemies coming to Yeah, he was set. bandaging for a Please. second there. Oh, yeah, he's saying, a vehicle going down. Yeah, he's saying the BTR pulled back. That and BTR did the just BTR take out the crowd. Destroyed. Yeah, ten tickets oh, left here. And there's at least four what guys down in that field. Yeah, so that's uh, six tickets left technically here. Uh, but there's more guys. There's one there. Uh, one there. So just with the dead. One there. Just with the dead that's lying around right now. They're at about... Let's say two tickets. So if all the dead bleed out... Which and will that's... happen with these guys, because as yeah, you said, is... Moham is a LAT. Yeah, and yeah, and Moham as well is going to go down soon as well. Ego Stein furiously down. searching him out. Yeah, he's and he goes down. There we go. Bites the dust. So that's them all down there, and so there's this push on the south. 151 tickets remaining. Yeah, 10 tickets still now. They're not giving up just in case, but I think they I think they know sort of the gist of it because a lot of like half the team have saying, well, we should stay passive and we might win on tickets. And the other half is saying, no, we need to attack because we think we're low on tickets. Uh, obviously, it's very, very difficult for either side to sort of definitely yeah, say they're right. Uh, but... Bold keeps... Bowl and Mark, Bowl in chat and Mark on squad lead comms a few minutes ago just saying Rocket there's only 15 minutes left, just hold, don't give up, 
bleed them out, we uh, they because they have no idea whether they're winning or not. So they're all in... right. Okay, so they they just don't know. You'd think with the amount of crows and, be and humvees they've taken out, they they should be aware that that this this has gone the right way for them. But you also don't know how how different it is on kills and things as well, which all had add up. Yeah, but I mean, um, you can sort of assume, I mean, as a squad leader for your own squad, you could say, well, I've had sort of a very positive round. We have had pretty, like, we've died, but... Yeah, yeah I mean, but at, over a two-hour period, I guess it's very, very difficult. You look at the kill, actual kills, there isn't much in it in kills alone. It's 265 for Russia, 248 for the United States. Yeah, and look how even that is as well. It's... So the really? assets alone are yeah, what have won really this game. It's not good. being the flags. Because yeah, assets you say, and fobs, I would say. There has been no flags capped from the first ten minutes. Yeah, no tickets bled. So it's Tell that BDR this has been a game of assets right now. Three tickets left. Just called out that there is enemies crawling in the. F yeah, the Moab three... will be bleeding out any time. Yeah. Yeah, Moam bleeding out soon, and uh, three tickets left, and we, I see just three, four dead right here. Uh, let's see if I can find anyone else. So this game is definitely lost. Five, six dead. Yeah, it's a, so at the most, this game's got two minutes left. Yeah, at the most, this game...